Ever since we were children, we've had one dream. Winning the Eurovision Song Contest. For those who've lived on the other side of the pond, it's a time-honored television tradition. But for many of us here, Eurovision is a mystery. If you grew up with this, can you please explain to the other people of Washington State what Eurovision is and how the movie isn't necessarily stretching the truth that much? It's really not. Um, and it's delightful to me that there is uh, a country well, several countries, but particularly America, who've never heard of this, and explaining it to adults is is so weird and fun. Very often, they're going for a, a song of hope or a unifying message or something, you know, really, really great. But very often, some countries will submit something really bizarre, very, very odd, and you just never know what to expect. Ireland, for example, uh, they once submitted a, a, a turkey puppet to sing a song. It is a perfect playground, you know, for, for a, a, a film like ours. Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams play a duo from Iceland, determined to win despite all the odds against them. I wish I could sing in Icelandic. I know it would calm me. When you are preparing your accent for this film, do you find yourself using it in daily life? Like you're going through the drive-through, you order it with an Icelandic accent. Uh, I, I can't, no, I do do it a lot around the house, and my partner likes to do it, but he he's not he's not practicing it properly. So I have to tell him to stop because he's messing me up. Dan Stevens plays their biggest competitor, an audacious singer from Russia. whose wardrobe is 90% gold lamé pants. Were they comfortable? Were those pants comfortable? <laughs> they were fine until you started to try and dance in them, and then <laughs> sometimes they weren't. Like the competition it's based on, Eurovision is flashy, silly, and uplifting. And the songs are all memorable. I have only seen the film once, but I have the Ya Ya Ding Dong song stuck in my head. <laughs> How many of these songs became earworms for you after singing them and listening to them day after day? Thank God they're good songs, <laughs> is all I have to say. A fun movie that's out at a time when, ironically, the real competition is on hold. Eurovision is now streaming on Netflix.